Hey there, welcome to Farmcraft. <laughs> so I got the mantle all done. I've got a big problem though. This fireplace smokes. I'm gonna fix that. This method won't work with all fireplaces, but most fireplaces, this is gonna do the trick. Now Mason explained this to me. Once it's explained to you, it's pretty obvious. So assuming your flue is constructed reasonably well, it wants to draw, and it will draw. The reason it smokes is because of inadequate air velocity from the room into the flue. You need a constant push to bring air and smoke and everything up that flue. The size of your opening relative to the size of the flue is what really counts. And what happens in old houses like this the flue was lined, so it used to be a much larger flue. Well, I should say, it used to be a much larger flue that was dangerous because it was just brick, it could potentially leak, fire could get out and burn the house down. So people lined their flues and they put a, a clay liner down it and they support it in position and they usually pour some kind of concrete grout, something like that, around the outside. So now you've got a clay liner inside your flue and a nice straight shot up, it's not going to leak. And that's great, but you've lost some of the volume of your flue. So now that flue can only draw so many cubic feet per minute, whereas before it could draw more. But your fireplace opening is the same size, so what's happened is the opening is now too large for the size of the flue that you have. And that's the problem that I have here. Say, how can that be easy to fix? You could make it a real pain to fix. You could, you know, re-brick the whole chimney and bring it down in size and everything. But I've got a, a much easier solution. You'll notice I've got these screws on here. So what I did is I took some scrap metal and I screwed it on there to make a smaller opening. Can you see that? And the reason I did that is so that I could test it and make sure that it worked. This cover is nice, but one of the problems with this cover is that what if I want to readjust the logs or add more wood to the fire or something like that? Well, I have to actually grab this and move it out of the way. That's sort of cumbersome. Now this is hot and maybe dirty. It's leaning. Where do I put it? And now it's smoking because I've taken away my smaller opening. I now have the bigger opening. So I have a solution to this, and you probably have figured out what it is. We're going to make this fireplace so it won't smoke.
That'll do it. So I tried several times with different lighting to get the fireplace smoking on camera, but was unsuccessful. The fireplace didn't smoke that much, but it did smoke enough that this area here got stained with smoke and I have to, had to clean it off. You can see here where it's kind of dirty there. When it was burning without the screen, it would smoke up the room enough that it would get hazy, your eyes would burn a little bit, and the smell was just too strong. But now, with this screen in place, it doesn't smoke at all. So we have a success. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you on the next one.